Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, January 4th. It is morning, and CNN is on. Got a kitty cat here, and I'm in a jacket because I'm freezing. But I made a mistake today, you guys. The school for the kids are closed today, and at least here, it's like a teacher day, and I did not do my calendar yet, and I didn't see it. So Scott took them to school, and... Um, I had to bring them right back home. It is absolutely freezing, but I thought I'd show you guys. That's what decluttering looks like. There you go. I do have a big, like, box to donate, but I told you I was getting rid of stuff, and look at all that garbage. Hopefully they don't get too mad at me, but um, I want it all gone. Hi, everybody. So I'm just checking in. I just got done filming a video upstairs and I need to grab some lunch because I'm starving and I'm going to edit that video and start saving it and then kind of do some some work around down here the garbage man still has not came I think they called and told me I think when I called and paid the bill they told me they might not be they weren't open but I still thought the garbage was coming so if it doesn't come, it's going to stay right there where it's at because there's so much of it until they do come. So that should be interesting. And I'm starving. I need some food. I think I'm going to get a chicken sandwich. So just a quick check-in. It is 4.30 on Monday still, and I am saving my video for tomorrow. So in the mail today came some sticker stamps that I wanted. They came from the United Kingdom from um lemon cat shop and you can see some of them they're cute i love them really 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 cute and I thought they kind of fit with the Midori Traveler's Notebook a little bit. So, I got them a while back. And I'm happy. It takes a while for things to come in the mail. Sometimes from overseas. And I've been waiting on these. And I even love the envelope they came in. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So, those came in the mail today. By the way, I've got my Fitbit on, so it is recording my steps, and, um, you know, I don't want to, like, push myself too hard today, I'm just simply not going to, um, 30 minutes is, is about right.
Hey everybody, so I'm just kind of checking in. There hasn't been a lot going on today. It's been super cold, low 20s, and it's going to get like down to 22 tonight. And um, I did a few errands this morning. The trash man forgot to come, and I called them, and I was like, what's up? Why didn't you come get the trash? And they simply forgot. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous because it really is. Um, so I took a couple of bags of trash down to the dump because I didn't want it like blowing in anybody else's yard. And since they did forget it today, they're coming tomorrow. So I couldn't be happier about that. But I ran some errands. That's when I got the um, Arby's. And now I am going to get in the kitchen in a few minutes, make dinner. We're already into evening routine. The sun is gone, and um, the dishwasher's been emptied by Jackson. Zane cleaned up the boys' bathroom, which, you know, I appreciate both of them doing their chores. Um, and they're small, mundane little things. And um, no homework tonight for the kids, which is nice. I guess, you know, first day back. Jackson um, starts math tutoring Next Tuesday, so I'll start picking him up from school on Tuesdays, and um, I think it'll help him, so I'm good with that. I've got to get dinner going. I'm waiting on my husband to come home, but he's still got another hour before he can even leave if they don't have customers, and um, that's about it. Not that interesting. I did some cleaning today. Um, I love the home you have challenge had the delight your census challenge today I'll talk all about that in Saturday's video But you know I did my normal routine and then I made the house smell a little bit better So why not do that? You know, I mean um, We have four cats and so we have to like do our best to keep up on top of you know the cat boxes and everything because Oh, you know, it could get really smelly in here. So we have lots of waxy melts and carpet fresh and taking the garbage out. And we have that big trash can. This is the freezer. And here is a trash can. Now, I don't like this trash can. See it? Um, it is like, like a lunchroom kind of trash can. And you could put a lid on it. And I've tried that. And the kids and my husband really would just toss the lid like in the... In the floor um, but the trash can um, is big and that's why it's important for those garbage men to come because the bags are so heavy it's hard for us to take them like you know to the dump and all of that so um, I wish I could have a smaller trash can but we we seem to like collect garbage I know that sounds ridiculous but we fill that thing up like every day or so so I don't know my family really Appreciates a larger garbage can while it's not beautiful. It's definitely functionable and um, What else I don't know what else to update you guys on except it's freezing And I should have bought some firewood tonight would have been the perfect night for a fire, but Thankfully we got heat and I showed my electric bill you guys and it has like a red outline on it and I think some people thought it might have been late. It's not late. It's not even due till January 10th. And um, I had to actually cut that out of the video um, for a couple different reasons. And I'm not really going to go into why. Um, you know, I just had my private information. And sometimes it's hard to catch all of that when editing. And so I'm trying to do better with that. Um, but yeah, I, I sometimes show too much. But I'm going to get busy. I got to get in the kitchen and make my family some dinner. Hey, everybody. It is Wednesday here. So I've been at my desk today. I recorded the Planner Attic Box video that will probably be up before this video. It's very quiet around my house today. It is absolutely freezing here. I'm in a long sleeve shirt. I am just cold and there's no snow the sun is trying to shine but it is freezing and i've got the heat going and i've been drinking coffee all day and right now what time is it it's 1 57 p.m my kids will be home in a couple hours i'm thinking about filming another video today but i'm not sure i might just wait um i really need to get some lunch and 
I'm starving. I don't know exactly what we're having. We had hamburgers last night, so there's no leftovers from that. Um, I'll probably have one of my Tyson chicken sandwiches because I love them. And um, there's not that much excitement going on. I'm just checking in. I'm going to do the Love at the Home You Have Challenge today. I can't wait to share that with you guys on Saturday. You know, my house is not perfect, you guys. I think you know that by now. And I don't even want it to be perfect. It's just too much work. I want to enjoy time with my family. I want to enjoy time doing other stuff than cleaning. But the Love the Home You Have Challenge is so easy. And it's geared to make you appreciate what you have. Clean up, organize, declutter, and be happy with the home that you have. And so I thought for me it would be important simply because I haven't loved this home and I'm grateful for it but it's definitely not a home that I have loved and um I don't know we we picked this house out and I didn't put that much thought into it well Scott really picked it out and then came and showed it to me um but he liked it here and um I didn't so I'm doing my best to try to like it and Figure out what we're doing, if we're moving, if we're staying, if what we're doing. And we really don't know yet. Um, we're just trying to kind of figure things out as we go. So I hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day. I'm going to head downstairs, get some lunch, and then decide if I'm filming another video or if I'm just going to edit the video that I just did. I also need to take some pictures, which is something I need to do also today. And... I just don't have that much on my to-do list for today. Um, by the way, it is um, January 6th. It is my ex-husband's birthday. So, happy birthday, Art. I hope it's a beautiful day for you and Brittany. It's strange. You know, even though he's my ex-husband, it's still like he's very much a part of my family. He's um, got Brittany and... He's very sensitive over his birthday. He does not want to be forgotten. So I definitely have to call him today or send a text and not let Jackson forget to um, call him as well. But that's about it. I'm just kind of hanging out, being cold. It's freezing. I'm in long sleeve. I'm, I'm definitely happy to be indoors today and I don't plan on running out for one thing because it is just freezing. And, um... Yeah, that's about it. I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. Okay, so my lunch, very simple, is a chicken sandwich. And I'm using these little slider run buns. They are wheat buns, which a little bit healthier, not much. Some Brussels sprouts that we had left over. And that is my lunch today because I am starving. I also forgot to get out the hamburger for chili tonight. But um, I'll thaw it out in the microwave. I'm not that worried about it. So that is my lunch for today. I am starving. It's time to eat. So, I just got out of the bath, and I have Scott's pajamas on. Well, not Scott's. I guess I shouldn't say that. I have the pajamas that Scott got me. You see the cute little cats? Aren't they adorable? I've got a pink little shirt on with it. And these are warm for the cold nights, but they're not too heavy. I usually, I usually don't like sleeping in pants because they're too heavy. But these are, like, super thin, and they fit great. So I'm so happy that he got these because they are totally me. And I have my little cat necklace on. Scott got me this years ago. Um, I love it. And I don't remember exactly where he got it. But he got it for me, I think, around the time he got me Romeo. And um, I just have it on like a clear band. I like it look I like it looking like it's floating. And it totally matches my pajamas. So fancy that. Good afternoon everybody. It is Thursday and Scott is off work. Say hi. Hey. And um he left me a really cute note this morning. I'm not gonna where's it at? It was really cute. And he ran out and we are just kinda hanging out. I think we're going to have like a Homeland Marathon because there's nothing going on. I'm obsessed with Homeland, you guys. I just want the CIA to hire me. And I'll leave Scott here with the kids and I'll go catch terrorists. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you think that would be a good answer? Uh -huh, sure. You have at it. You live with the little terrorists here. Okay. And I'm going to go catch the real ones. Okay. And 
I'm actually having um, some leftover chili for lunch, and we're just kind of hanging out. It's actually pretty cool today. The stupid garbage man did not come again, did he? Uh, supposedly they're on the way. Yeah, we'll believe that I'm when not we sure see exactly it. Exactly where the disconnect has happened here, but anyway. Yeah, I could say a lot worse. Cooper's over there, if you can see. He is crunching down. He's like, I need lunch too. Go ahead. Look at that look I'm getting. There he goes. Scott don't want to feed him as much anymore, you guys, because he's fat. No, he's not. He's just a little big. <laughs> That's not what you said. A little big? He called him a fat ass, you guys. Said that we feed him too much. I don't want to be mean to him in, like, his last years of life. But Scott's over there screwing around on that phone. He's having fun. He's found a whole bunch of missing money. So, what's the website? Missingmoney.com? Uh, my name is doing the treasury site. And, and um, just just some money that was out there that was like from utility deposits and stuff from way back when, from when we moved like seven years ago. Hmm. Well, that's kind of nice. You guys might want to check it. $231. Yep. So, you guys might want to check. It will um, maybe pay off. You never know. So, they'd be here in four to six weeks. <laughs> You believe them? Sure. It's, it's the state treasurer's office. Why wouldn't I believe them? Yeah. So. Good morning, everybody. It is, what time is it? 8.23 a.m. Friday morning. And I am cold and tired. It's obviously raining. I was up with Scott, Jackson, and Zane. I didn't hang out a lot, but they most definitely got me up this morning. And I haven't slept that much. So, I am starving. I'm going to go get some food. And then I'm probably going to go lay back down because it is nasty, cold. I'm supposed to go to the store today, but, God, I don't want to go out in this weather. I'm already out, obviously, but I'm not going shopping right now. And so I'm off. I think we're going for some chicken minis. That sounds good. Um, that's what we're having. Chicken minis. So I'm in my bed. I've got my amazing little chicken littles and some potatoes. And I'm going to turn on CNN, eat, and maybe doze off on this extraordinary cold, wet day. I am. I usually don't wake up hungry, which is weird. I woke up today. I, if I could have ordered breakfast in, like had it delivered, I totally would have done it today. I would have ordered a pizza if they were open. I just woke up starving and I didn't want to cook. So, breakfast and maybe a little more sleep. So, we are here. There's Jackson and Zane. Scott is absent. We are eating at Manny's tonight. We got a gift card um, for Christmas and we are going to enjoy some wings on this one, cheeseburger on this one, and I don't know, but we're figuring it out. So we have a steak sandwich, yum. Zane's got a plate full of wings. We got a cheeseburger. And we miss Scott, but he's working hard. And um, take him home. He'll put that on my bruschetta bread. <laughs> Butthead. Thank you. So I wanted to show you guys something that came in the mail. Um, you guys know I've been using my Midori Traveler's Notebook, um, here for a little while, and I actually really like it a lot. And I do have, like, the new Inkwell Press, and I have other planners, um, as well, but this one, and my sister-in-law found a planner that she wants me to check out. But, I've been using this, and I plan on taking you through it sometime in the coming weeks. Um, and you guys will get a very um, close-up look of what's in my Midori Traveler's Notebook. I love this planner. Now, I was on Etsy, and I found a shop called Pooh Birds Rarities. I believe that's what it's called, and I'll link it below. And she makes these uh, wonderful books that either fit in the Midori Traveler's Notebook or the Foxy Dory, I think. You know, the ones that are just a little bit wider. Well, I ordered one, and I actually ordered the wrong size. This was actually going to be in here, and I'm going to show you a different one that, um, and I'm probably just going to have this remade to fit in here because I love it so much, but these little books, you can have, it's kind of smash book style, 
and she does such a great job so you can see there's a pocket that she sewed see it and then I'll show these like in more depth um, in a different video but I absolutely fell in love. Now, these are $14.99 a piece. They were a little more than that to have it customized, and I did. So this one, and there's lots in here, I mean lots. And this one is customized with, let me see if I can find a page here. With um, Indiana, which is where I was, where I'm from basically. And South Carolina, which is where I live. And so this is an amazing book. And what I plan on doing with this book, this one in particular, it's going to be my moving journal. So whenever, you know, it's going to have all of my stuff in here from the cost of the U-Haul to the cost of the utilities that we got to turn on to the different houses that we're interested in to packing all of it's going to go in this notebook and I find it just so sweet and charming and I'm going to have her make me another one for my planner um, because I just I'm in love and it's so well made and it's really really nice let me try to get the glare off I'm kind of filming at night right now and I just love it, and you guys will too. Like I said, you can customize it with your state. Um, you can customize it with, um, you know, your country if you're not from the U.S. And Jennifer, who runs that shop or owns that shop, is so sweet. And I just love her books, and I'm going to show you this more in detail, but I just kind of had to share it with you guys because I'm, I'm loving it. And I think it's the perfect moving book. Um, and I'll add more to it. I'll add pictures and plans. And this will be my moving book where hopefully 2016, I will, I will be shocked if we don't move. But, you know, there's still things we have to plan. There's still things we have to save for. And um, we'll just have to kind of wait and see. But I, I hope it happens. And whenever it does happen... I can, you know, go back and refer to different things in this book. And so, I'm just super excited. And there's a place for receipts. And it's just so sweet. I love it. And there you go. There's her shop. So, definitely check it out if you're interested in these type of books. This one does fit, but it's a little bit wide. I mean, I'm talking an inch wide. Or no, not even an inch. Not even a half an inch. I don't know, not very much, a couple centimeters. And um, it's just amazing, and the quality is really good. And so I thought it would be perfect for my Midori Traveler's Notebook, which is pretty full on its own. But, oh my gosh, I just fell in love. And I wanted to share it with you guys in case you wanted to get one ordered. And um, I'm going to talk to her about discount code and everything else. But we will talk about that after I get the other one in. And um, I'm excited. So anyway, I wanted to share those with you. I'm going to get ready and get to sleep and get in my bed and find something on TV and kind of rest. It's something I really need to do. And I need to, you know, work harder on getting more sleep um, because I have a terrible time sleeping. And... Um, yeah, and I shouldn't be at my desk right now. So I'm going to get up and go to bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, everybody. It is Saturday here. So I thought I would catch up with you and try to kind of fill you in. So yesterday, I was so tired. I didn't film. I didn't do what I needed to do, like go to the grocery store. And... I just felt awful. I mean, like, really awful. I got no sleep um, that previous night. I felt like a zombie, you guys. So, um, I did take the kids out, and it was a nice treat. So I didn't even know we had the, the gift card until Scott told me, and I was excited, and um, we had a good time. And I actually got a little bit of energy after that, but not much. And I actually got a really good night's sleep last night. So, 
hey, you know, it was okay. So today I have been working around my house. I have been filming videos. I have been editing videos. And um, I still need to go to the store. It is nasty. Look at it. Look. Look. It's 3 p.m. here, just so you know. Look at this. It's just disgusting. And I don't want to go to the store. Um, but I will probably end up going um, later this evening. And maybe I'll record a haul that you might see before this video. I don't know. Um, I did get a few things in the mail that I thought I would share with you and um, share with you uh, some giveaways that are coming up and a review and um, there's not that much going on here. It's like pretty quiet. The kids were quiet this morning and let me sleep. Scott is at work and I'm sure he's ready to come home because it's just nasty out. But um, I do have shopping to do and I need to like start moving and get that done otherwise it's going to be midnight and I'm going to be at Walmart and or Aldi or Ingalls whichever place I decide to finally go I wish I could put it off till tomorrow but if I do I'm going to probably regret it so I don't know but I um, just had a very hard day being so tired and I just didn't want to film that much um, so I hope you guys understand and um, I'll check in with you in a bit bye so this cashmere scarf came in and I'm really excited to review it because it is super cold here and it's the perfect time for a scarf. And then these came in and these are Mama Up makeup removers and they fit on your fingers. And um, I think they'll be great for taking off eye makeup. So I'm going to test those out and review those. We'll also have a giveaway and... Also, for this adorable blotting paper um, container and paper, I guess. And it's oil absorbing sheet roll. There you go. So, I know the lighting ain't the best, but um, these will definitely be things that you guys will be able to win. And um, I'm excited to share that with you. So, maybe we will do a fun um, a scarf video soon and we'll also have the review on this and the pressure cooker and all the other ones that are coming up I'm excited and I think these will be great for like mascara and everything not to tear up your wash rags or to you know like stain them super 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 bad Hey everybody, it is Sunday here, so we all kind of slept in, and we are kind of hanging out at home today. We, Scott and I, are going to head out and do some grocery shopping, and I'm going to come home and record and upload a haul, and we're just preparing for Monday, basically. Um, it's important in our home to, like, prepare the week ahead, for the week ahead, um, because if not, we will be disorganized disasters in the morning. So there is Zane, he's coming down. So we're gonna take off in just a few minutes. Hey everybody, so we are just leaving Walmart and Scott's with me. Hey. And I might get this haul recorded before it gets dark, but I'm not thinking I will. You got about, you got about 11 minutes before yeah, the sun sets. I can even get it set up in 11 minutes. <laughs> um, but we did our shopping. We stayed within budget, which was about $200, and we did really good with that, didn't we? Uh, no, I didn't say how much it was. So like two fifty something. <laughs> so I mean, only fifty over, here, but I meant to, <laughs> like on food, and we always have to calculate more in for household and pets. You that and, you know, I I don't know. I kind of calculate them different, even though, kind of small, kind of small, even though they are on the same bill. Um, but I kind of you know I allow for that because we certainly need that kind of stuff. And we did our shopping. Scott's tired. He says. Long week. 
Yeah. And then we stayed up watching two movies the other night. Both yeah. Two nights in a row late. I'd go to bed almost yes. midnight. Yes. It was Homeland, late. actually. Oh, Homeland, yeah. Yeah, yeah not which movies. Late, which is way late for me. And tonight we got Madam Secretary, which we both really like. You like it. You know you do. And we got, what's the other one? Do you watch the Downton Abbey? The Downton Abbey. And Probably there's yeah. another one besides that. There's there's another one. Used to be. No, I looked. We watch two shows. We used to watch two shows on Sunday. It's like Madam Secretary and something right after that. Oh, The Good Wife. And I love the lawyers in The Good Wife. So I'm excited for a good night of I TV. Watch You've watched it with me. Well, when you were sitting there going on your little marathon to watch and trying to catch up. I, yeah. I'm so, caught up now. So. I want to be in the room with you now because yeah. show. But it's overall a pretty good day. The kids have been pretty good yeah, and pretty quiet. Great. It's been great. Yeah. Well, a couple days. They, they spent the night last night. I've not heard them laugh that much in forever. Weeks. I don't think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they it was a sugar night. high they were on, you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you what. They were totally, like, jacked up, and I'm like, they no fun. more. They were, they were fighting. They no. were playing and having a good time, so that's all matters. Yes, and... Um, I didn't see what they had as far as sugar. Hmm. I wouldn't hope for that. Again, so well, we did buy them a Dr. Pepper today, but we bought water, too, mostly for them, because water, they are drinking mostly water, water and milk. Water, juice, and milk. Yeah. And Zane don't want any kind of juice. Oh, he you is, know what? You made tea last night. They both had tea. That's what it was. You're right. Yes. Yeah, sweet tea. Yep. They were jacked right. up. And see, I didn't even I'm want to come to, to the store today. Sorry. And the only way that I really did was with him. And I, he was like, good, I guess we don't have to eat for six months. But we had <laughs> food. And it's just like not their first or second fix. But we have food. Just not a ton. But we kind of are stocking up. And I'm not going to put the haul in this video because it's, it's going to be a standalone. But, um... Yeah, we, we do have food, though. Do you think? House full of food. It's just... Not, not your picks. No, we, right. I mean, it's... They don't want to eat vegetables, and Zane doesn't or drink juice. Or don't have to fix juice. things. They want to eat yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. and I bought some easy stuff for him. I mean, I don't... I, I am kind of over people thinking that we eat bad. I like, know we kind of eat bad. No, we don't do any worse than any other American family. But I want to go to a more plant-based diet and lean meats, and I think I can do it. And I think I can get him to go with it and the kids. Less sugar and less carbohydrates. But in order to do that, I have to stop shopping like I did today and buying, like, processed stuff. And I also have to totally overhaul our freezer and our pantry in order to do that. And I can tell you what. The first week or two, my family's going to shit. They're going to have heart attacks when there's no donuts in there and stuff. But I still think it'd be better. I just haven't... Who eats donuts? Everybody. And you included. Um, and Zane loves donuts. Okay. Zane loves anything with sugar and no vegetables and no fruits. He does <laughs> want strawberries, but they're $7. And I, I got grapes, and guess what? They were $7 as well. And that was at Walmart. That's like absolutely ridiculous. I did I did suffer through for the grapes and well, because... You know, because of California's had a drought on here, so a large part of the ocean. And it's down. winter, you know. Well, I mean, so they brought everything in from out of the country, so the prices are going I mean, I, I didn't pay attention to the price of the grapes, but I saw them when, like, we were checking out, and I about had a heart attack. I, I probably wouldn't have bought them because I'm refusing, I mean, absolutely refusing to buy $7 strawberries that taste like cardboard. They don't even taste like a, like a strawberry we pick. And so I'm like well, refusing. Well, the biggest strawberry farm in South Carolina yeah. two miles from our house. So. We made all that so jelly. It was, it was so good summer. too. And um, yeah, so that's kind of an update of what's going on with us. We're just kind of hanging out. We're going to get the boys to get the groceries in. I'm going to record that haul. Make something quick for dinner. Prepare for the week ahead with laundry and backpacks and showers for the kids and you know getting to bed early stuff. normal stuff and um my mom got me the piano now scott's a little concerned about moving it that's his biggest concern is that it the biggest concern is moving it not the loud noise i'm going to be making but you moving it but we're getting it and mom and he's not too happy about having to move it but we're going to figure this out mom's going to redo the piano we're looking at pictures i think my mom actually needed a new hobby because they have redone a new, a new, a new, a new project there you go um because they have redone they made one of those beds that come out of the wall and you know murphy bed and don is so handy and they like spend their time together redoing stuff well i think they're running out of ideas on what to do with their house like like remodeling i think their house is probably perfect for them and so she's starting the project of redoing my piano it's brown right now i think we're going to do like a distressed white 
and um, maybe you know I'll, I'll share the blog post or something as she does it it's got a mirror along the top of it and I'm not too crazy about the mirror so I don't want to keep it um, not the mirror um, but I'm rather excited about it grumpy over here is just thinking of a truck gas and a long drive and is it gonna take me eight people to move that piano it's on wheels I mean, you know, it's nobody thinks I can move the treadmill, but I've moved that sucker all through easy, our house. It's easy to move a piano on wheels, like through the garden and stuff. It's, it's really easy. Go <laughs> ahead. I still want it. I'm still getting it, and he's just gonna have to get over it because he's got that ugly chair that I can't stand. And if I, if I could throw that sucker out, it would be gone. Because we used to snuggle, and he'd rub my feet, and we'd have a good time on the couch until he got the chair, and then. And then Scott's ass is planted firmly in the recliner. And he's not scared, you guys. He'll kick you out of the chair and say, like, get out of my chair. So he's like one of those old guys, like Archie Bunker, who had his chair. You damn kids, if that ball bounces in my yard one more time, I'm keeping it. Is that what Archie Bunker used to say? So yeah. just oh. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, I don't know. Um, I'm really excited about the piano. He's not as excited because he thinks it's going to be, like, a real pain to move. But Twice twice and maybe we'll just move it up to Indiana once maybe it won't come here maybe we'll just take it right up north um, but that's kind of what we've been doing maybe we can just move it up to Indiana once and um, not have to move it here as well so that's just like I thought but we are gonna get home and we are going to unload our groceries and I hope the boys help you gonna make them mm -hmm. good we'll talk to you guys in a bit hey everybody so I am in the bathroom and I'm over here by the shower. I'm sitting on a stool. Um, obviously, we got home. We got the groceries put up. We had dinner. And then we watched, let's see, what did we watch? Madam Secretary, which I love. We watched The Good Wife. And I mean, we, Scott and I. And then he went to bed and I watched Downton Abbey. Oh, my gosh. I love it. And I've seen, like, all of the seasons. But I wanted to start back at season one actually before this season started and watch all of them but I'll do that later um, I started to but then I got distracted on something else and it was so 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 good tonight and I just love Downton Abbey I really do and um, that was a nice little treat for tonight now I am gonna enjoy a long bath and some sleep um, you know, it's been freezing here. That's why I'm in a hoodie right now, because it's been really cold here. And we've been, you know, using our heat, but I don't want to blow out the electric bill. And my best friend was telling me today that her um, house was 60 and it was 17 outside. And that her husband made her turn the heat on for like the first time. So she only let it get like 64 or 65 before she shut it back off, I think. And I can't do that. Um, we've had it on 74 all day and we've been freezing and this house is like super drafty. There's so many things I hate about this house. The air conditioning doesn't work or heat in the boys bedrooms. It just doesn't. We've checked all like the duct work, you know, that like the, I don't want to say pipes, but like the ducking that goes from vent to vent. Yeah. And it's all fine. And, um, you know, you walk into one part of our house and it's like a freezer. And then you walk into another and it could be a sauna. And so we have been dealing with that all day. It's been really cold here, but not as cold, you know, for some. I hope you guys enjoyed the weekly vlog. I didn't record. I think it was Thursday, maybe. Maybe I only recorded a little. I don't remember, but... Um, I didn't record that much on a couple days because I was just really tired, really grumpy, and I didn't want to put off like that negative energy to any of you guys. But I do hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and getting to know us. And I know that these videos will like be around forever. They are a part of us and they're our lives. And we might not have the perfect life and we might not have the cleanest house or the most well-behaved children, but we are blessed and I, I feel that. Um, I don't want to talk too much about our move. 
My husband didn't want me really mentioning it a lot, and there's reasons for that, but it's it's way off still. So I will talk to you guys more in depth as that time approaches, because I do see it happening. Um, I just want to like pack and go now, but we legally can't because, well, I guess we could, but we have six months of visits regarding Zane, like, you know, through social services and all that kind of stuff. So that will be up, I think, in June, and we're done. Um, and we could move now, but we would have to get, you know, like new people involved and all of that. And if we really needed to, we would, but I hate to move the kids too soon and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we're we're slowly figuring things out, and I think it's going to work out. Um, this week, I... I have to pick Jackson up for tutoring or after tutoring on Tuesdays from now on. And um, I have a few errands. I have more Christmas cards. I got a huge stack in the P.O. box um, Saturday, Friday or Saturday. It was huge. So I know I'm still sending out Christmas cards in January. And some of you guys might be like, what? Well, there was a lot. I think we hit probably close to like 200 this year. And so that's a lot to reply to. And I hope you guys understand. Some of the um, ones that first came in got a little messed up with some of the ones that came in a little bit later. So, you know, don't be shocked when you guys see a card from us in January. Um, it's the least I can do because you guys write us some of the most amazing notes. And we've been so grateful for that. And my family appreciated every single card that came in, not just me. And um, it takes a little while because real life is here and we got stuff going on. And we have stuff, you know, happening around our home. And um, we definitely want to respond. And I thought about, you know, seeing if um, Scott could help. But honestly, he's so tired after, you know, a long day's work. So, I am slowly getting to them. Just please try to be understanding, and thank you again for sending your cards and your notes, not just at Christmas, but all year long. They mean the world to us. They really do. And I will write a week in review blog post. That will be up Monday afternoon. And I'm not going to even upload this till later on Monday because I put three videos up in two days. And, um, I'm kind of letting you guys have time to watch those before throwing another one at you. But, this was our week. Not that exciting, but still good. And, um, hopefully this next week is great for not only my family, but your family too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below, especially if you have any questions or comments about anything you saw or anything else. I'm more than happy to chat with you. Talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to get subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It's time for a bath. It's time for bed. And I am so ready. So sweet dreams. I will see you later in the week.